What's happening everyone, Max again. I'm doing another unboxing for you guys slash first impressions. I do it every month. I have a huge box here, I believe to be six to seven new fragrances that I wanna share with you guys. My thoughts on them, perhaps you guys are looking to buy these. Some of these are very talked about in the community, so I went ahead and picked these up to share with you guys my thoughts. If it's worth your time and money, if you trust the channel here, you know it, I keep you in the know. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I get out of these fragrances on a first impression level. And of course, if you guys wanna see a full review on any of these, let me know in the comments. So keep it right there. These first impressions are coming up right now. Welcome back to another video. Max here, just opening this box to share my thoughts on these new releases. I pardon the noise. A lot of these fragrances were purchased either on the group in form of sense uh, on Facebook, which is my fragrance group for swap, trades, sales, everything fragrance 24 seven. Check out the in form of sense, 26,000 fragrance aficionados trading and talking fragrances 24 seven. So what I have here is the newest from Anisha Parfums. This one here is called, of course, Oud for Happiness. Let me know if you guys have tried this one. If you have heard of these, uh, this particular brand Anisha, what are your thoughts on this brand? Please comment below. Another one here that perhaps will be great for this time of the year, which is called Autumn Vibes from Maison Margella, AKA the Replica Collection. This one here is getting a lot of talk, of course, Versace Arrows, but the newest Parfum 2021 edition. Next up, we have one of my favorite discoveries of 2021, the brand, of course, Sense of Woods. They will be joining us at Scent Explore 2021. If you guys love niche perfume, if you love niche fragrances, guys, if you're getting into the world of fragrances, it's a great place to be. If you're a big fan of fragrances, if you're a huge fragrance aficionado, check out scentexplore.com. Join us all day international virtual convention giveaways masterclass it's going to be one for the books i do hope to see you there it's closing out very shortly so if you don't want to miss out guys the time is now link below hope to see you there so this one here is a brand that's going to be featured this year at scent explore it's called sense of wood and this one here called leather in bourbon which i know absolutely nothing about i have three more fragrances here so a total of seven this one here is going to be from parfums de marley their latest one for women called oriana let me know if you guys love the brand of Parfums de Mahali. What is your favorite fragrance from Parfums de Mahali? Comment down below. And of course, the two last ones from Dior, Christian Dior, from their Maison Collection. We have Vanilla Diorama, which is getting a lot of limelight. A lot of people talking about this one. And last but not least, we have Eden Rock that I'm really, really curious to check out. So guys, let's get sniffing. Let's get trying these seven fragrances and let me tell you exactly what I get out of them. And by the way, guys, I think you know this by now, but all fragrances here will be listed below. And I'm also gonna list the exact place where you can try them before you buy them. You guys know perfume.com is the best place for sampling fragrances, for trying fragrances before you buy them. So you don't have to buy these big bottles that cost, you know, two, three, four, five hundred dollars a bottle. You can try them, live with the scent, make sure you love it, and then get a bottle if you truly enjoy the scent. And the great thing about perfume.com is they have an extensive portfolio of fragrances, niche, indie, and designer. Incredible, very, very affordable decant pricing so you guys can check this stuff out. And of course, there's an even better deal going on right now than my Max 15 code, which is code TREAT, celebrating Halloween. The time you're watching this video, there's only a couple more days for this sale because it is a Halloween sale. So on the 31st at midnight, it's over. So guys, enjoy, buy one, get one 40% off with code TREAT. Details below, guys, enjoy. So let's kick things off here with Versace Eros Parfum. I know this is getting a lot of limelight, especially with fragrance channels or people that review mostly designer fragrances. To be quite honest with you guys, I'm not a niche snob by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, I love my designers, but I usually go for designers that are older formulations or vintage stuff because what's coming out today is very much cookie cutter, more of the same, uninspiring really releases that we're getting, just you know tweaks here and there, but it's all you know around the notes of Tonka, Vanilla, and Ambroxan in some way, shape, or form. So, Let's look at this one here. The bottle here, very similar to all the different Versace Eroses that you guys know, nothing changes. It's a cool looking bottle, but what we really care about here is the juice. So let's check this out. All right, so without having any experience whatsoever with this fragrance, right off the bat, it's going to be extremely close to the original. And to be quite honest with you, it is a good smell, but it's a, you know, been there, done that, played out. You know, if you go out clubbing, if you go out, you know, with youngsters out there, Dior Sauvage, Arrows, you know, Yves Saint Laurent, Y, a lot of those fragrances are going to be what you're going to smell out there. So this is definitely one of those DNAs, heavy tonka, vanilla, some spices, nothing here, you know, that's gonna wow me or 
nothing that you haven't tried yet, especially if you're in the fragrance community. So very similar to the original. I still like Arrow's Flame the best, I think because of the composition itself, it has a little bit of an herbal, a little bit more mature vibe, makes me feel better when I wear that fragrance. Not as playful, not as youthful as the Arrow's original or the Parfum or Parfum. Not that it's a bad scent, guys. Understand me correctly here. It smells good, but it's that just more of the same. And I haven't really tried to see if it's gonna be better performance, but from what I hear is they capture the longevity that was missing from the so reformulated original. So now this has a little better performance, but the scent itself is nothing new. It's just arrows in a different concentration. Simple as that. Next up, we're gonna go from Mason Margiela, the replica collection that's going to be Autumn Vibes. I was really looking forward to this one, guys. Number one, because I love my autumn fragrances, you know, especially autumn and winter. They're heavier. I love my leathers, my boozy scents, spicy, you know, woody, amber, oriental, those type of scents. So I'm really looking forward to checking out Autumn Vibes. Uh, from the notes, it looks quite good. I don't know if it's going to be great. Not much uh, reviews on this fragrance out there. From the first blast here on the blotter, what I'm getting is a fragrance that's going to be very creamy, very smooth, a little bit spicy, but not astringent, not sharp at all. Just very creamy, very smooth, spicy, some, maybe some cinnamon in here. I'm getting a ton of sandalwood. And in fact, this is actually reminding me a little bit, if not a lot, of Centau 33 from Lelabo. It's like a, a spicier, perhaps even creamier version of Centel 33 from Lelabo. Not a bad thing because I do love that fragrance, so perhaps this is something you want to look into. You know, when you look at the notes, it's got pepper, it's got carrot seeds, it's got uh, oak moss, some spices here, maple. So like I said, a spicier, creamier version of Centel 33 I think is the best way to put on this one. So definitely worth checking out. Absolutely one that I would suggest you guys, you know, seek out, search for, wear it, try it, might be your next best find. Next up, we're gonna check out Leather and Bourbon. I mean, I love leather, I love boozy fragrances. This one here could be a great find from Sense of Wood, which is a brand that I'm really bragging and talking and you know sharing with you guys all year long because they are great. Everything I've tried from them, there hasn't been one fragrance that I tried that I didn't like. You know, I just, some I like more, but I like them all. And so far, Plum and Cognac has been one of my favorite finds of 2021 thus far. Top three for sure. Packaging is great on these. When you go on the website, you can actually choose the metal and the actual color of the bottle from a few choices given, which I think is quite nice. Look, looks like a, a heart-shaped bottle. And again, you're going to have this little metal here. It says leather and bourbon. I hope the camera can focus. If not, you know, that's what it says right there. This has a dark metal cap with a beautiful creamy white, off-white looking bottle so leather and bourbon guys i'm really excited about this one from the notes it looks amazing from everything i tried from the brand this this could be a great one for 2021 so definitely very leathery a little bit boozy but not as boozy as i would like it to be but it is nice and this has a tuscan leather aqua di parma leather type of a vibe which is a great thing it's really good leather fragrance i mean they capture the leather essence here to the t this has a lot of spices up top we're talking cardamom we're talking pink pepper so it's a very spicy almost sharp leather facet which is actually very nice this smells like it's going to really pop off my skin it has a crazy melange of notes in the heart into the dry down we're talking styrax patchouli amber birch sandalwood I mean, this is good stuff, guys. Really amazing leather fragrance right here. If you like a very in-your-face, spicy and bold leather fragrance, Leather and Bourbon is a great one. I don't see a bourbon note mentioned in a note breakdown, and I would like this to perhaps have had, have had more of a bourbon uh, effect here and perhaps become more boozy on the skin, but I think it's gonna be more of a spicy leather than a boozy scent, to be quite honest with you. But needless to say, a great spicy leather scent at that. Next up, we're talking Parfums de Marly, and this is Oriana. This is going to be their latest release for ladies. I mean, when it comes to the presentation, Parfums de Marly is unparalleled, second to none. They do a great job from the bottles to little tassels to little crystal up top. I mean, it's good stuff, heavy cap, you know, quality and packaging when you see it and you know they're definitely doing a great job with their packaging now let's look at the juice this is quite nice this is going to be a ambery floral scent um, very well made very well constructed i can see my wife loving this fragrance or any lady out there uh, trying this fragrance and really enjoying it there's a very nice fruity vibe up top that's uh, creamy 
Let's look at the notes real quickly. So on the notes, we have orange, grapefruit, and bergamot, and raspberry. So definitely a melange of fruity. It's very fruity. It's very creamy. That's what you're going to get here in the introduction. It's going to get you a hello if you love fruity fragrances. This is definitely a very predominant fruity scent. You also have blackcurrant, and you also have orange blossom. So it's a really fruity fragrance to the max. The base, it gets a little bit gourmandy, and I think it's going to be even more predominant with that gourmand facet on skin because you have marshmallow, you have umbrette, you have musk, and you also have whipped cream. So this is good, guys. This is borderline a gourmand scent, but I would classify this more of a fruity, ambery fragrance with a gourmand touch. This is good stuff. If you, if you definitely like fruity fragrances, guys, this is definitely one to check out or to give your significant other as a gift. Let's check out Oud for Happiness. Now, Oud for Greatness is one that I do enjoy. I own that bottle and I love it. So I was, I was really curious about this one, hence the fact why I picked up the bottle. Oud for, for Happiness, I don't know much about, but Oud for Greatness is one of the best wearable Oud fragrances out there. It's very sensual, it's very smooth, very creamy. Uh, the, the, the oud air is almost for support. It's not really in your face. It's not barnyardy or hard to wear. And I'm thinking this is going to follow suit in the same kind of a vibe that you get with that other fragrance. So oud for happiness. Let's take it for a test drive. Again, talking packaging, great cap, beautiful stand here. The bottle looks great. Very similar to every Initio fragrance, Initio Parfums Privé. The only difference here between this one and the other one is instead of just the gold and black, you have, you know, some green embellishments here with the gold. So. Let's see what we get out of Oud for Happiness. Again, I am a fan of Oud for Greatness. I think perhaps it's a little bit too sharp on the price. And this one here, guys, it's very nice. It's following suit like I like predicted with Oud for Greatness. It's a very nice and wearable Oud scent. And this one perhaps has a green kind of undertone. Perhaps that's why you have the green uh, embellishments here. Musk, vanilla, and herbal components in the base. Hence the fact I'm getting this uh, green undertone. Perhaps. There's no cannabis listed as a note. If this was a little bit smokier, you could perhaps say that this has a cannabis note, but no cannabis listed, so don't take my word for it, but it is definitely a very green, aromatic oud type of scent. The vanilla here is very toned down, so not very sweet at all, but a good oud at that. This is definitely going to be less sensual than oud for greatness, but just as good. Last but not least, we have the two Christian Dior, Mason Christian Dior. Let's check out Eden Rock first. Uh, have you guys heard about these two new releases? What do you think about Eden Rock? What do you think about Vanilla uh, Diorama? Let me know down in the comments. Let's check Eden Rock first. These are beautiful bottles though. They do a great job. The sprayers are like second to none. They're like the best sprayers in the game. And Eden Rock is gonna have a very mineral and sea-like marine aquatic type of undertone is what I'm getting here from the, from the first you know, introduction of the fragrance. All right, so we have mineral notes, we have citruses, sea salt, jasmine, coconut, not really getting the coconut here, pine tree and labdanum. So definitely very green and marine type scent. But this is going to be a spring and summer type of a fragrance. That's what I would you know, wear this fragrance predominantly. I wouldn't really seek this fragrance to wear right now in the fall or winter because again, Right now the coconut's coming through and it's giving me a very nice uh, sun tin lotion kind of a vibe along with that marine sea breeze type of a vibe. It's a good scent, it's not bad, but again, definitely more for spring and summer. Now this one here, ladies and gentlemen, Vanilla Diorama. This one here, from what I've seen and heard, this is going to be a great one for the season we have right now. I mean, even the color of the juice, it's a darker ambery color. Vanilla Diorama, please give me something good, Dior. It's been a while from you guys. This one here is very nice. Get a boozy facet to this. Very similar to Tobacco Vani uh, meets Enigma or Creation E from, from, uh, from Roja Parfums. Definitely has that vibe. And of course, looking at the notes, we have Think Pepper, we have Orange, Rum, here's your boozy facet, Cocoa or Cacao, Cardamom, Vanilla, Sandalwood and Patchouli. This is really nice, uh, perhaps one of the best here, but again, if you already have Enigma, if you already have fragrances that smell kind of like this, or, or um, Oud Tabac from uh, Amo Oud, I would say this is redundant, but if you can pick this up for a good price or a partial bottle, definitely check it out. Uh, these are quite pricey at the Dior website, but it is a good scent. I don't know as far as like performance goes, but Vanilla Diorama is a great scent when it comes to the actual first impression, guys. It smells amazing, like I said. A little bit tobacco vanilla-ish. There's no tobacco in the note. More of a cacao vibe. Uh, kind of like gourmandy. 
Definitely very boozy. And with that booziness, it's giving me like an Enigma slash creation -y from Merger Parfums. Good stuff right here. So there you have it. Those were the seven fragrances that I wanted to share with you guys today on this first impression, first take unboxing. I know you guys like these. Let me know in the comments from these fragrances, which ones sound most interesting to you. My favorites, to be quite honest with you, Autumn Vibe is quite good. Uh, Leather and Bourbon is great. Vanilla Di Aroma is amazing. Uh, the other ones are good, but not great. And of course, guys, before I go, if you do appreciate the channel, don't forget to show me your support. It's the reason why I'm here. It's because you guys appreciate what I do, keeping you guys in the nose. So if you do appreciate that, leave me a like, subscribe for more, and turn your little notification bell icon on so you guys get these videos straight into your feed. I'll see you right back here again with another one very soon. Take care.